I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Minnesota. I'm looking for myself on my computer. It's not showing up quite yet. Because I do like to interact with you. That's why I like to do lives instead of pre-recorded videos. Is so I can interact with you. I will wait just a minute for more people to join me. But welcome to my catalog kickoff. Um, if you're interested in shopping with me, I go by North Star Stamper at stampinup.net. I have my own website. Um, I'll talk about that quite a bit in these videos today during my kickoff. I want my website to be a place you go to learn more information about Stampin' Up! and what I'm offering. So I add to it periodically when I think there's something you need to know about. Check my website. And then if you need to contact me, Susan at NorthStarStamper.com. I have a new email address. And this is the catalog we are talking about today. I'm so excited to share this with you. Um, let me know that you're watching. Oh, okay. I have a long list of things to talk about. I'm going to talk kind of fast because I do want to share these on every video because I don't know which ones you'll be watching. But thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, sign up for my newsletter to find out what I have going on. Right now, I'm sending out them out twice a week, um, Monday afternoon or Tuesday, and then also Thursday. So I'll have one going out tomorrow. Sign up for that. And then if you comment on any of my seven videos from my catalog kickoff by Sunday, May 5th, I will send you a card. And I, and I can send cards internationally. So let me know that you watched. I appreciate your views. Um, I'm hoping all of you have an annual of the new, this new catalog. If not, let me know and I can send you one. That is U.S. only, though. Um, your best friend with this new catalog is going to be the index. Um, they've changed the format of the catalog, in case you haven't noticed. Um, and this is going to be your best friend. These highlighted sections, I missed the first ten times I looked at the catalog. I couldn't find embossing folders, and here they had it bolded. So I just thought that was a heading. I didn't realize that that was the whole category of embossing folders and other things too. But this is going to be your best friend. Another note about this catalog. Let me just grab a couple pages here. I used to be so proud that Stampin' Up's um, catalog would show all of the stamp sets at 100% at full size. They are not doing that anymore. I think they're trying to save on paper and... Um, well, mostly just paper. This stamp set is full size. Um, I, I can show you. Well, actually, why don't I show you that now? Because this is actually what we're talking about today. I have the stamp set here. Let's just grab the happy birthday. I've been using this one a lot. Or birthday wishes. You can see that that is exactly full size. So the ones that look like this, some are pink. I've seen green ones. Um, these are full size. But if you see a stamp set that looks like it's in a stamp case, obviously these are not full size. Um, even on the stamp case, they are not full size. You can see that down there. Um, but just so you know, the best way to understand how, um, how big the stamps are, maybe that's not a good page. Let's, actually I had one here. Sorry, I should have had this page marked. There we go. So the best way to figure out how big the stamps are is to look at the samples here. So here's this stamp and here it is here. Or the other thing you can do is look at the dies that cut it out. And down here, they're going to have the size of the largest. That happens to be this one here. So we're going to have to do a little investigating to understand how big these stamps are. But looking at the stamps compared to a standard, we use A2 here in the U.S., um, compared to an A2 card, it'll give you an idea of how big the stamps are. Um, there are a couple of thing, new things in here that are not available. Um, the embossing powders, we, are, we found a new distributor, so they are not available. They're metallics and the basics on page 126. And for whatever reason, the in-color resin dots on pages 114 and 115 are not available. 
they do limit how many demonstrators can purchase so i don't know that we we demonstrators purchase too many of them um or what these embellishments on page 114 and 115 are larger than life and i meant when i go through the catalog later tonight at seven o'clock i i will show you exactly how big these and these are these in the catalog are at least twice the size of the real pearls and gems so i have those to show you later so come back or watch my seven o'clock video to see the comparison to that if you have been on my website this morning the catalog did go live i don't know i i did get some sleep so i it was supposed to go live at um, midnight mountain time um if you look under the categories you will see close to my heart ctmh um, close to my heart was another direct sales paper crafting company that is closing for business um, stampin up has purchased some of their products and we have um well we are welcoming over half of their demonstrators they're called makers over half of their makers are stampin up demonstrators as of today so welcome to if you are a stampin or a close to my heart maker welcome to stampin up um, so you will see some close to my heart products online. Um, they are only available to people who were makers or VIP customers or customers of close to my heart. Um, and I was a close to my heart customer. I bought a few things from them over the years. So, um, that's kind of confusing people I think today, but eventually they will become Stampin' Up! products and they are, um, close to my heart was really big into scrapbooking so look for scrapbooking products coming soon the catalog went live this morning like i said and i ordered at 6 30 and they were already several days behind shipping so if you order in the next week please be patient they are busy processing orders okay so the one of the big differences in this catalog um are they're stamping up is talking about three one two three different ways whoops i'm not in my camera here um three different ways to create step-by-step -step crafting which are mostly kits paper pumpkin and um the kits collection and i have two of them to show you uh quick and easy options include our uh, memories and more which is like pocket scrapbooking you can also use those for um card making and we have a new product called mix and match and i'm going to make a card for you this morning using mix and match and then the one we're most used to is creativity your way um i call that everything but the kitchen sink or uh free for all or you know um i don't know the, what other terms you can use but this is just the rest of our products um stamps dyes inks embellishments all those things that you can create your way so that's why they called it that so um right this morning we're going to be concentrating on these two for the rest of my videos today from 11 to 3 every hour on the hour i'm going to talk about the new in colors um so i'll be using new products with new in colors and combining them with current colors so i hope you um enjoy those videos i um and then at seven o'clock tonight i will do a walkthrough of the whole catalog um highlighting those things that i already talked about this morning so um let's get started uh kits i do have two of them here this is the birthday sparkle kit so if you want a pre-choreographed is the best word i can think of um, kits are a good way to go. Um, by the way, this kit is $23 in the U S I know it's different in different markets. This was a, oh, May, March. I think it was, was a March kit. So we are now releasing two kits every month. There are two brand new kits as of this morning. So go check those out when you're done with this video. And so I made these cards last night. I follow their directions um they're actually non-word directions they even tell you where to put the ad, um, adhesive you know you need the ink spot these stamps on these pieces and this is how you put it together i love that they even give us um 
a ruler there if we need to cut anything like I did need to tr cut the trim. So scissors um, is something you needed with this kit. They actually give you the block. Um, I don't like to use this block. It's kind of thin to be using to use. Um, but everything is pre 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 die cut. Um, obviously, there's the gold. There's just all the pieces you need. Like I said, it, this kit is a stamping kit, so it included an ink spot. So it's the same color. That one's early espresso. But everything's here, ready to go. It's great for if you're traveling, if you want to share stamping with a friend. Um, kits are a great thing for that. I do have another kit. <coughs> I got this one as an all-attendee giveaway when I was at on stage our convention in Houston in March. Um, this one is $18 because it is not a stamping kit, but it has these fun honeycomb accents on them. I left it flat so I could still mail this, and then the person who receives it would get to enjoy the um, strawberry honeycomb. This one has the um, balloon on the inside. So again, these were pre-printed. I didn't have to stamp that. I just had to cut my trim and adhere things. And the adhes adhesive comes in the kits too. And our instructions are very colorful and they, again, tell you exactly where to put the adhesive even. So this is the Hooray for Honeycomb kit. Very fun, festive. Kids would like this kit. Very nice. So that is the, um, the kits. And these kits, like I said, are part of the kit collection. And you get to decide what, whoops, <laughs> what you want in your kit. The paper pumpkin kits are a monthly subscription, and we don't know ahead of time exactly what the kits are going to be, and I like that surprise. Every paper pumpkin kit includes an ink spot and an, an exclusive stamp set, so I do like getting new stamp sets. So on to the mix and match. I don't have the current um, memories and more, but they're pre-printed cards, and they've been around for a few years. This is a new product line called Mix and Match, and here's a card that I made um, this is one of the make and takes I made at On Stage, our convention in Houston in March. So there are some simple stamps. Um, I love the greenings on here. There's a nice variety of fonts that are legible. I know sometimes the fonts get a little funky and you can't read them real well, but I like these. I think this happy birthday is going to be a new favorite for me. So in here, um, these are on page 19 if you want to see them. So I have a few things to show you. This is the Sunny Springs Cards and Envelopes. I'll just pull one out to show you. And it is printed on both sides, which personally I think is a waste. So I'm going to cut this, not for this, um, for today. But in the future, I would cut that and layer it on a piece of cardstock. So that I get two cards out of one. But then I won't have an envelope, so I'll have to print an envelope. But they, they do coordinate with each of the colors. There's the pink, and there's another plaid that coordinates with the plaid. So these are the cards and envelopes. Um, let's, I don't know what I'm doing. We're going to, let's do the pink. So we're going to make a card. These are the um, sunny Oh, look at that one. That yellow's sunny. It's not a sunny day, thank goodness. If it does get sunny, I'm going to have to change my, my table here. So that was the Sunny Springs cards and envelopes. We're going to start with that. I also have the Say Something ephemera pack. And using these, you don't need, even need stamps and ink. They are pre-printed, ready for you to adhere to your cards. Look at those. I haven't even looked at this, to be honest with you. If you look on the website, you should be able to see these. Let's do a happy birthday. I think the green is going to look cute with that pink. Again, this is the... Saying something ephemera pack that's part of the mix and match. We've been told that they will be adding more mix and match items. I don't know if that'll be this summer when they do online exclusives in July or not till fall with our um, camp mini catalog. This is the something for everything ephemera pack. Hello, Anne. Thank you for joining me. You may have been here for a while. I'm already uh, running out of breath here. Um, 
again, this is something for every, something for everything. Kind of interesting. But there's two sheets of each of these styles. So I have to, what do we want this birthday card to have on it? Oh, the, the balloons and the cake are cute. So you get all these and they're die cut, ready to go. Look at this one has a frame. Oh, that, oh, that'd be fun to include that with a gift card to a coffee shop. Some nice, oh, look at the cat, he's cute. All right, let's decide here what we want on, I think cakes and a balloon, balloons and a cake, is that? <coughs> okay, and the last one, I, there are flowers, I don't have the flower set, sorry. Uh, labels and layers is the last one I have. Again, these are the mix and match. So you get two sheets of each. So I do want to put one of these labels, probably a bigger one, on my card. Strawberries are cute. And I believe this stamp set, and I was going to do this, but I like that happy birthday, will fit on here. Let's take the happy birthday. I will just demo it. Oh, that one's pretty. I'm going to take the happy birthday and I have some basic gray and this should fit. It does. I'm going to put it up top. So that happy birthday does fit on those labels. And some of these sentiments are on the smaller side, like the hello and yay. So they would fit on these smaller labels. Let's finish this pack. I didn't I didn't see them all. Oh, I, I used this one on my card right on stage. And you get two of those. So a nice variety. See this one here? It looks like it has a paper clip on it. So cute. So these um, I would use with a stamp set. You wouldn't need to. You could just use these as layers. They call them labels and layers. Ephemera pack. So a little bit of adhesive and my card will be done. Oh, I forgot this one was so bright, but that's all right. You know what? I'm going to need another label. Or you're not going to see... what I have. I'm going to add a piece of cardstock. I just happened to have it handy. I didn't realize these cards would be so bright. So, see, this is mix and match. I just went through the pack, and you can mix and match to your heart's content. You can stamp on them. You could change the color of things with a blending brush or a sponge dauber or... Use other techniques. <clears throat> oh, goodness. I'm already losing my voice, and this is just video number one. So all I need here are adhesive. I'm going to put some mini dimensionals on here. This just wasn't big enough. And this is big enough to hold mini dimensionals as well. Um, so if you go on the website, you will see these three categories listed. Um, I already lost track of them. Kits, quick and easy, and creativity your way. So those are the phrases that you'll be hearing me and other demonstrators use. And you can go and just look at the quick and easy items that Stampin' Up! is offering. We'll go like that. There we go. Quick, cute card. I should have timed myself. It probably took me minutes. I think deciding which pieces to include on there is what took me the longest. And of course, I can add ribbon or gems or rhinestones or whatever, whatever I have. Um, but it's cute that way too. Ready to go. And it even has a coordinating envelope. Oh, look at that. I didn't even look at the back side of those envelopes. So that is the quick and easy. Um, thank you for joining me.
I'll be back at 11 o'clock Central Time, and that'll be 12 o'clock for you. Um, and I will be talking about Peach Pie. I am so excited to share um, the card I have created for you using the peach pie and some fall colors. It's not quite a fall card, but you'll get the idea. So thank you for joining me. Oh, I'll bring this card back just so you can see. Happy stamping. Go check out the website and see what's new on there. And if you have questions, um, let me know and I'll try to answer them. Like I said, I played around with the website a little bit this morning, so I'm aware of what's on there. And I think that's everything I have for you right now. I'll be back at 11 o'clock Central Time talking about peach pie. Hope you can join me then. Bye.